class today. So on today's class, I'll be talking to us about how to make our duvet finally. <laughs> rope is so that the women can hang it like this on their body when they are going out. So basically there are two things you need for duvet making. You can either use fiber, this is fiber, or you use foam. So hello everybody, welcome on board. So quick one, let's just get started to the tutorial. I'm sorry my voice is a little bit cranky, I hope you can hear me clearly so this is the foam i try to cut a shorter fabric a baby duvet so that the camera can be able to go round and you can see clearly what i am doing because if i decide to use a big size duvet to do this the camera won't be able to capture all round for you to fully grasp what i am doing so you just cut i would be leaving every other details you need for measurement in the description board so do well to check my description box for every other detail you'll be needing so this is the fabric cut out into the fiber is usually in the center and you pin it carefully you pin carefully so that the fabric on that does not start pulling off from the one on top and the fiber does not start scattering for the sake of this tutorial i actually use the foam you can decide to use a foam if it's for your personal use and depend on how frequent you use your duvet but it is not really advisable because it shreds off so you might want to stick to using your fiber so here i just there sewing and i do 10 10 inches if you are using a if you're sewing a big duvet from 6 by 6 or 6 by 7 sizes you use from 20 20 inches or 15 inches space difference to sew them so you can also notice while I sew, I'm putting my hand on that to keep adjusting and adjusting because if I do not do that, the fabric on there is going to come off really rough and ugly and you wouldn't want your duvet to turn out like that. So I keep measuring. You don't want to take your tape off your neck because why? You'll be needing it all through this tutorial or all through the sewing. So I keep doing this and of course... I make sure I follow my line because if you do not follow the line when you're done sewing your duvet, it's going to be super, super obvious that that was a bad job. So you might want to take your time. Depend on the size of duvet you are sewing for a beginner or for a starter, you're most likely not going to finish it in one day. That's the sad news. Yes, it's a lot of work, especially if you do not have like an industrial machine. For the sake of this class, I also use the manual machine because there was no light while I was recording. So... You just keep at this. This um, tutorial is supposed to be beginner friendly. So I really do hope it is beginner friendly for a lot of people. And when I mean beginner friendly, at least you can sew and you can use the sewing machine properly. So I'm using a bigger duvet to show you the illustration of what I did on the smaller one. All the lines, you can see the lines fully showing on this big one so that's just basically it so now i'm about to do something to the edges because now the edges are going to be rough we cut exactly what we needed so we're going to do something called the round off you either call it the round off or um what is it even called you either call it the round off or the tufting so on this part, I cut a fabric about two and a half inches or three inches attached to it, just the same way we do with bias. If you are tailor, if you have any tailor orientation, you understand this part of it clearly. So I put I put in a clip from a bigger video so you can understand what I'm doing clearly. So I sew to the end. Here I'm still showing you the lines across everywhere and I'm showing you the finished work. So now it looks like it was folded directly but no it wasn't folded directly. Fabric was actually attached to it. This is a vivid picture of what it looks like. So on this part we are folding it. After you finish sewing that other edge then you turn it and you start folding like we are doing in this video. It's supposed to be a little bit hard. A little bit hard not too hard so you might want to cut your fiber out if you have excess fiber left so here we are back to 
um, the normal small duvet tutorial I was using. So watch me fold it carefully. I think I should minimize my talking at this stage so you could watch the tutorial. So you just see me folding it up and carefully sewing it. You want to put your hand on that side edge to make sure it comes out smoothly and you want to sew on the extreme edge on the extreme edge you're not sewing in the center please look at what i am doing i am sewing on the edge so it's a neat finishing and it almost doesn't look like it was handmade so i'm also showing you from a bigger duvet to see it you might want to also check your duvet at home if you do have one to cross check what i'm talking about it's just the finishing now we're about to finish what we started in this duvet um then on this part when you're done if you want to be extra creative you might want to start creating designs and what have you on top but i always advise designs to be done after a duvet is sewn so that you can see what you are do doing carefully a duvet is too big for you to start creating design as you sew you get exhausted burnt out and drained and you wouldn't want to continue so to avoid a situation like that please do finish up your duvet before thinking of being creative around the body of the duvet to create any design love corrals or whatever you want to create so on this part i still just take you round down the finishing so you could see clearly how i did my finishing and what have you